My name is Dr. Jason Bruck and I'm an Associate Professor of Biology at Stephen F. Austin State University. The study that we're working on here at Dolphin Quest is a study related to a concept of human-made noise. Sometimes we call it anthropogenic noise. So the general sense is we want to know about dolphins in the presence of these human noises, but also what they need to talk about. A signature whistle is kind of like a name that a dolphin gives himself in their first year of their life and it's a lot more prevalent whenever dolphins become separated. So they'll begin giving their signature whistle to call to each other, say hey I'm over here, and so each dolphin has their own unique signature whistle. So what we're doing is we're putting two speakers under the water and we're seeing how the background noise will affect how dolphins speak to each other. We are playing different kinds of human-made noise to them, um, such as a cruise ship, jet ski, and a form of white noise. And then we are playing different dolphin whistles um, through said noise to the animals under human care. So over the last 15 years, we've been working with Dolphin Quest to record each individual animal's signature whistle. And so now that we have all those data, we also have signature whistles of dolphins they know from, from other places. We have signature whistles of animals they don't know. And so we have a really good catalog of over a thousand whistles that we can use in these playback experiments. They're gonna hear three types of whistles. They're gonna hear their own whistle, an unfamiliar whistle, and a familiar whistle. And so we're kind of testing to see what their response is to these whistles through the noise to see how well they can recognize them. It is imperative for humans to understand just how noisy they are in the ocean, but we don't always have an understanding of how that noise affects these animals. And so really what we're trying to figure out, not only across a long time period, whether or not their signature whistles are changing, but the other sense of it is, is really just how much human noise influences the communication systems of these animals. A signature whistle is one of the most important signals a dolphin has. It helps them identify the group. It helps calves find their mothers when they get separated. And when it's too noisy and their signature whistles can't transmit through that sound, we need to be able to understand that that's happening and what we can do about it. And that's what this study is about. I believe it's very important to continue working with facilities like Dolphin Quest because they treat their animals so well and it allows us as researchers to be able to come in and study the behavior and do our best to also work with conservation for these animals. One of the very large benefits of working with accredited institutions such as Dolphin Quest is that we're able to ensure that animal care and safety is always first a priority. Um, we always want the animals to be completely comfortable in all of the scientific studies that we are doing and that is something that is always guaranteed by working with facilities such as Dolphin Quest and that allows us to put our focus on the studies and learning as much as we can about this amazing species.